Michael, it was hard work at times, but you got there in the end. Uh, what was your verdict on that win in the performance? Yeah, I mean, it's one of them where, listen, we've all been it, you've seen it as, as, as fans, supporters, etc., where a team goes down to 10 men and to get people behind the ball, make it difficult all of a sudden, the little gaps and the spaces that you were creating before they went down to 10 men get filled up a little bit. Um, so, as crazy as it sounds, I was actually a little bit gutted when the player got sent off. Really? Yeah, I mean, listen, he, he, he's a danger, yes, absolutely, he's got a bit of pace about him, but... Um, all of a sudden, there was a few patterns of play that we were, were sort of working on and getting the switch of play on that we were getting in time and time again from left to right in the first half. And, and then obviously, as soon as the sending went off, obviously Perkins had to slip into uh, the midfield with Dan's and um, they just made sure that the gaps between the midfield and the back four were a little bit smaller, uh, which uh, made it where we had to sort of play in front of them a little bit more. Um, so. That's why we kept changing it, trying to ask questions, give them different problems, and I suppose we got the reward in the end. Yeah, Tramway started quite well, but did you think you were growing into the game when they're sending off? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they're always going to have peers in the game, Tramway, and they're certainly always going to be a threat because they play very direct, and on the back of that, they've got you know players up top who are quick, uh, who are going to cause you problems. So they've done that against some uh, some decent sides this year. Um, so. Um, you know, our focus a lot of the time was making sure that we deal with a direct play, but then when we get the ball, can we hurt them and uh, can we hurt them in the wide areas? And I felt we were doing that. Um, and uh, like I say, it was one of them where it was more persistence more than uh, quality at times. What would you thought on the Sunday? Well, it's a bucket, isn't it? You know, it's a frustrating one and it's a horrible one for, for managers and stuff, but you know. If it's a booking, it's a booking, and if it's your second one, it's your second one. Um, I, won't, I don't want to see players get sent off for that, but if you try to take a quick free kick and you stand in it, the letter of the law says it's, it's a booking. What was your message to the players at half time after that? Keep the, keep the um, speed of the pass. You know, that, you, you've got to keep your concentration levels and move the ball. I didn't think we did it particularly well, uh, if I'm being honest, but um, I wanted them to move the ball and keep moving the ball quick because when you're up against 10 men, you have to find a way of shifting them and making the gaps. And we did it okay at times. We did. Um, I just get frustrated sometimes that the amount of times we get in the box, and then that little bit of lack of quality um, lets us down a little bit. Yeah, their keeper wasn't tested too much, was he? No, um, and it certainly wasn't. Like I say, wasn't due to getting into good areas. Um, you know, keep saying it time and time again that. We keep getting in there, and as long as we keep getting in there, that's the single most important thing because eventually, um, eventually, we'll start making better decisions. And, and John popped up with the goal, and he did a great job at Burton last week, and uh, you repaid your faith with, with, with the crucial goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good job he got the goal. Um, I'll probably best keep it at that. Okay. Um, you know, it's one of them. Listen, I want, I want consistency. I want our performances um, to, to reach the levels that we, we did at times last week. And there was spells in the game today when we did that. We definitely did that with the ball, but um, we still have to have that hunger and aggression out of possession at times. And, um, you know, um, John knows he's not daft. He, he come up to Trump's with us today and he got his goal, um, but he knows he can give us uh, a lot more out of possession. Do you think that was it? The case for the whole team, sort of not just John. You could have done, you could have done more without the ball. Or, no. no, no, no. There were certain players. Yeah, yeah, certain players could do better. There's no doubt about it. Um, I think that for me, if I had any sort of not negative from the day, but certainly things that I'd want to be better, it was when we had the ball, not without the ball. Um, you know, even before obviously uh, the lad got sent off, um, they didn't really make Josh work. Um, you know, they were threat from probably poor errors from us. Um, so, no, I've got no issues from that point of view. Like I say, I want us to to be as dangerous as we possibly can. So, um, yeah, as long as we keep getting in them areas, at the end of the day, at some point, you know, the uh, the quality will get better and better. It's probably the first time in your tenure here that you, the teams have to win ugly. Yeah, and we and You've we've got to do that, yeah, you? of course you do, hundred percent, and. Um, I won't use the phrase ugly, you know, I won't say it was ugly. Um, what would be your...? Well, I've, uh, well, put it this way, 
uh, it depends what you describe as ugly and what you sort of putting it up against. Well, winning when you're not at your best. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We certainly weren't at our best, but I won't call it ugly. Um, but certainly, yeah, we, we could do better. But two wins in a row. Uh, it that's is. a massive positive, isn't it? And two clean sheets in a row. Well, look, yeah, I think, so, you know, the clean sheets, you've got to, you know, you've got to strive to keep clean sheets. And I think, obviously, um, there's a real passion, certainly within the group, to make sure that we give ourselves a platform. Um, and then when you do give yourself a platform like that, obviously you give yourself a chance to win. So um, we can't keep ha asking the defenders to keep clean sheets uh, and create opportunities and not take them. So there's an onus on sort of both sides of our play and uh, the last couple of games we've, we've just about got it right. And it sets you up well for what is a very tough looking Christmas period on, on paper. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Coventry, Oxford, um, you know, Ipswich and Peterborough don't get much tougher. Um, Although, like I say, the lads are in a good place at the minute, um, and they, you know, I can sure they'll be they'll be looking forward to, to next week and beyond. And um, you know, at the end of the day, they're the type of games that you want because you get to know a little bit more about your players, I suppose, than, than what you did today. Everyone come from Sky. I think so. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm aware, all good, yeah. all good. And hoping to have Michael O'Connor kind of back on the training pitch this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Michael, you know, before his injury and. You know, he's, he's been a big player for us. You know, he's been ever ever so consistent. I think the performances of the team in general, when he's been in the team, have been been pretty good. Um, and I suppose similar to Bozzy, he, he brings that little bit of experience that um, that every side needs. I suppose. Thanks, Michael. Hi, Michael. Just one other thing about the clean sheets. If you ignore the game where we conceded six at home to Oxford, it's actually only one goal conceded in the other seven home games. Yeah. Mm. That really is a Platform, Absolutely, you know, and you know, home games are very important, aren't we? We all know that it's very, very important. Um, since I've come into the the club, um, actually conceding goals were pretty good. Uh, we're pretty good. Um, you know, we, we, we've kept a good level of performance in terms of being hard to beat. There's no doubt about that. Um, but the hardest thing and the, the biggest steps that we have to take is just make sure that once we go ahead in games, we go and get that second one and we go and get that third one. Um, even last week, it took us 92 minutes to go and get the second one. You know, We take the lead in the second minute and yes, we're good up against a side that we're in pretty decent uh, spirits. But yeah, I think um, the, uh, the more confidence we get as a group, the more games that we we can win, certainly we'll we'll, we'll take teams to the side a little bit. Yeah, and it's uh, it's six points out of six since we had that three week break with no mm -hmm. game. Do you think there's something in that they come back refreshed? Possibly, yeah. I mean, I'd like I could sit here and say yeah, yeah, <laughs> but um, who knows? I, what I would say is that during the two weeks that that, that that we did have, the players worked ever so hard. I think I said to a group of fans before the game, it was almost like a little mini pre-season. Um, I was determined not to, you know, make it like a holiday camp, which is, you know, almost protecting players and making sure you don't get injuries and stuff. So we worked ever so hard, and um, yeah, I think in terms of fitness levels, that'll never be a, an issue from our point of view. Thank you. How do you think Boswick did um, coming back into the side? Did great, you know, it did great. Obviously, you know, we were a little bit cautious last week or a little bit worried how we would be having only played in like the one game against Scunny behind closed doors and um, to get an hour last week probably set him up really well for this week. Um, so yeah, he looked solid, he looked fine. A um, couple of good challenges as well, which obviously lifts the crowd and everything. So you know, he, he um, when you played, is that 6-2-6 six, six for him now? I think he's played is that right? 626 games yeah, that it was today. Yeah, he yeah. played that amount of games. Um, you know, he certainly knows how to look after himself, and I think he did that well today. And with the January window coming up, what are your thoughts on the stadium naming rights deal? Is that going to be an extra bit of cash for you? Who knows? I'm not asked that question yet. It only got done the other day, didn't it? But um, listen, I, I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. I've got to be really careful, like when I'm get asked about, it. <laughs> and even like if I'm saying right, we're meeting it. I have to make sure I get the <laughs> LNER um, stadium right. So, listen, if that's the case, great. But first and foremost, I think um, we've had good discussions with the board. There's no doubt about it, about potential targets and potential people that we want to bring in. And um, they seem pretty uh, pretty comfortable and happy to uh, 
help and support. Yeah, building on your answers there, Mike, and the comments on uh, Mark and Alan. So, uh, since September, I've conceded a goal at home at all, which mm. is incredible, mm. uh, in the league, which yeah. is hasten to add. We've only conceded three goals in the last six league games, home and mm. away as well. Mm. So I think that's important to know. Mm. But looking forward, given your answer just now, would you see it as the striking area of the field uh, and the creating area of the field where the focus needs to be attended to in the first transfer window and this year and then in the summer? Absolutely, yeah, no, there's, there's no doubt about that. I think, um, I think one of the things I sat here maybe in, in the second week of me being here and I certainly said it to the players that I just want to make sure that we're, we're harder to beat. We're going to be a little bit more resolute and harder to break down as a team. You know, having watched the, the Oxford game from the stands, we were a little bit of a soft touch. And, you know, once we conceded the second, it was, well, OK, when are we going to see the third? Or it wasn't, you know, we're we going to get back in it. It was when are we going to concede the third? So, so we've got that and I think we're OK at that. But we certainly, uh, in the final third, uh, I do think we can be, be much better. And, um, you know, it, it's dead simple, isn't it? You know, you, you, you try and you work with the players that you've got and hope them they can be better. If not, you bring someone else and make sure someone else can do it. Well, congratulations. The first victory at the LNER stadium for us all. <laughs> Cheers. One may it continue. Absolutely. Brilliant. Cheers, fellas.
Um, John, a hard fought win. What's the feeling after that? Uh, glad, happy. We uh, we won the game, and that's the that's the aim. Tell me about your goal. Uh, it's come in, got on it, took my shot. We'll see, it hit the crossbar first. It's got a little bit nervous, but when the flag went up, buzzing. Yeah, was there an Doesn't. element of doubt? Could you tell that it gone over? From I thought it went over, but obviously, you know, referee sometimes. There's no VAR in this league, no. so, <laughs> you know. But no, happy, happy to score, happy to get on the sheet, score sheet. And on, on the performance in general, what did you make of it? Uh, it, was, it was good. I thought we, um, when they had 11 men, we were switching the play. We were, we had good control. And uh, when they went down to 10 men, it's always difficult because teams tend to sit there and bank up. And it's, I guess it's harder to break them down in a sense because they're just waiting for us to make a mistake and try and hit us on the break. So we had to just keep doing what we, the game plan, which was, you know, trying to open them up. And uh, luckily it happened with the goal. It sounds a bit odd to say, but did, did, did the red card almost interrupt your flow as well as theirs? Uh, I thought we were just building into the game. Um, it, it did, but like I said, we we got to just stick to, to, to the game plan. And I felt like we did. Especially in the first half, we I thought we did it really well when they had 11 men. So, like I said, it's always going to be difficult with 10. You've got to sort of grind out a result. What did you make of the send-off? Any sympathy for that one? Nah, not really. I think if it was one of us, um, I'd have been disappointed in that player. You know, because you're on a yellow and it's obvious that he, he stuck his leg out to when he kicked the ball. So, I'm sure the manager won't be happy with, with that player. What was the message from the manager at half-time, given that you were down Just, to um, 10 men? Just to do what we've been doing last like 20, 25 minutes, just getting on it, switching the play. Like I said, we did it when they had 11, so just keep doing that and you know that chance will come. And luckily it did. It was all about patience really in the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, like I said, it's definitely about patience. When, when you go to 10 men, you tend to try and probably do a bit more to try and break them down. When you go to 10, maybe taking that extra pass or when you don't need to or try and kill a pass when you don't really need to. It's just sort of all about moving them and trying to get them out of that low block shape that they that they tend to bank up in. Do you think you're finally getting sort of rewards for your hard work? Because the run of results where the performances were pretty good but the results weren't coming, but last two weeks, two clean sheets, two wins? Yeah, definitely. I felt um, a lot of the games we've played really well, but obviously it's a results game. So we've got to uh, find results and... Like I said, I think we keep doing what we've been doing over the few weeks, then the results will come because I thought we've been playing really well and implemented the, the game plan and how the gaffer wants to, to play really well. So we've just got to keep doing that. Yeah, how have you played yourself over the last couple of games? Uh, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to play. I want to play every game, you know. Um, I have done for the past five, six years, seven years. So I want to play every game. I think every player does. So I'm happy to get in the team and doing well. So I just want to keep, keep doing that. There's a bit of friendly competition between you and Tyler over the, the goals. He's a, bit, a little bit ahead of you at the moment still. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is, but hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll catch him up. I'll catch yeah. him up if I keep playing. Um, a lot of but games nah, come over it's, the next few weeks. So. It's, 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 it's good, it's good. Like he done really well last year, I done really well last year. And it's good to have in a team, have competition for places. It just, it just keeps everyone at it and always looking over your shoulders. So you've got you to be the best to play in the, at the end of the day. So that's the mentality we both have. How are you feeling about the next few games, it's a very busy period, I think you've got five games in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's always like that in Christmas, so we, we know what's coming and we're going to prepare for like each game as it comes and just next one's Coventry and we just plan for that. You're playing top side in, in all those games pretty much, mm -hmm. is that, are you excited about that prospect? Of course. I mean, you, that's you performed okay against the better sides in the league this season? Definitely, that's why I got promoted and you know we're relishing the chance to show what we can do. Like I said, I feel like we've been performing well over the last few weeks, so we just got to keep doing what we're doing and keep progressing. But like I said, we look to the next game and want to do well in that game and then go from there. Thanks, mate. In the goals you've scored, three in the league from limited starts, obviously three in the cup ties, that's six already this year. Mm. Are you pleased that get, having moved up a division, which is obviously harder, but you, you hurt your stride, right? Um, I've always believed in myself. I've always said the same things throughout my career, which is get in the box and keep getting the right airs and you get chances. And um, like I said, you just got to believe in yourself and your, my ability. And I'll just keep doing that, um, whatever whatever league it is. So I'm happy happy to score six goals. I think, like you said, I've not. 
think it's my second start, my third start in the league. So second league, so I'm happy, yeah. I'm happy. Just wanna keep keep going and keep performing and keep getting the, the three points and winning games for the team. Thank you, John. Thanks, 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 John.